Hey everyone, uh, in this video we're just going to talk about how to create a basic ABEX class. Um, so yeah, don't worry about this. Um, if you want to check out how to do any of this stuff, um, just subscribe maybe and check out our other videos. Um, but yeah, for this one, to create a basic ABEX class, what are we going to do is we're just going to go to File, go to New, go ABEX Class. And from here you can give it a name. So we'll just use the basic Hello World. Um, everyone loves using that, right? <laughs> uh, all right, so once we're in here, that's your Apex class. So inside of this, you can, first thing you can probably do is create a new method. So let's go public static void. And uh, let's give it a name. So let's say something like say hi, or let's say say hello. All right, so inside of our say hello, let's do a system debug. And inside of our system debug, we're gonna say hello. <laughs> so, and let's put a couple of exclamation marks there. That's always fun. All right, so we've got that there. That's pretty much it. So the next thing we can do is if, basically to test this to make sure that it's working, we can go to debug here at the top, go to open execute, open execute anonymous window and remove all of that stuff there. So now to call that, that class that we've got, um, it's pretty simple actually. All we need to do is copy our class name, paste that there, copy the uh, method that you've got and use this little dot and paste the method name and then just go, um, open and closing parentheses and colon, oh, semicolon actually, yeah, and then hit execute. So we've got this little open log button here. If you click that, it's gonna open the logs um, automatically. So, but I'll just leave that closed for now for in case you forget to do that. So once we hit execute, you can go to logs here <clears throat> and you'll see um, it executed right now. So, what you don't want to do probably is you don't want to open up this one or maybe you don't want to open it. No, you don't. Yeah, you do. Yep. Yeah. Um, <laughs> all right. So as you can see, we've, we've got our deep, we've got our hello there, uh, which is pretty cool. So if you click on that and you remove the debug, you can see everything else. It also tells you what line it's in over here, which is the line number, the time. So if we go back to our Apex, Apex class, you can actually see it's number, number six. So if you've got a lot of code and you want to put in debugs, um, that's a nice easy way to, to um, find out what's happening. Uh, yeah, if you found this video helpful, please subscribe and check out our other videos. Thanks.